Assalamualaikum and good day. My name is Miss Siti Sabrina and I am going to present Chapter 6 Photosynthesis. Let's get started. These are the subtopics 6.1 Autotrophic and Heterotrophic Nutrition, 6.2 Photosynthesis, which consists of 6.2.1 Absorption spectrum of photosynthetic pigments, 6.2.2 light reaction, 6.2.3 dark reaction, 6.2.4 C3, C4, and CAM plant. These are the learning outcomes. The first one contrasts autotrophy and heterotrophy with respect to their energy and carbon sources. Number two, state the photosynthetic pigments involved in photosynthesis. Number three, explain the photoactivation of chlorophyll resulting in the conversion of light energy into ATP and NADPH. Number four, describe Kelvin cycle involving carbon fixation, reduction of PGAL, or G3P and re regeneration of RUBP. Number five, describe carbon fixation in C3, C4, and CAM plants. Okay, we go first to 6.1 autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition. Okay, this slide talking about the role of autotrophs and heterotrophs. In general, carbon dioxide is a gas that is important and it is a vital source to synthesize carbon-based biological molecules um, that make up the biomass of all living organisms. All life processes require a continuous input of energy Continuous input of energy will be supplied by the sun that provides most of the energy that powers life on Earth. A self-sufficient ecosystem consists of physical environment inhabited by organisms, and these organisms, they are producers, consumers, and the composer that depends on each other and on the environment for nutrients, energy, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. So, to understand the role of autotroph and heterotroph, let's have a look on them. Autotrophs, mainly producers. They are organisms that carry out photosynthesis. They use inorganic compounds, carbon dioxide, water and light energy to synthesize organic compounds such as glucose and other nutrients and oxygen as a vital byproduct. This oxygen is important for living organisms including humans to be able to breathe. Example of autotrophs are those plants, algae, certain proteins, and certain bacteria, and archaea. These organic molecules produced by autotrophs can be used by both autotrophs and heterotrophs as food, a source of chemical energy to fuel cellular respiration, which convert this chemical energy in the presence of oxygen to ATP to power cellular processes and to make the building blocks of cells. These are the example of living organisms that are autotroph and these are photo autotrophs which use light to make food. So we have here terrestrial plants, they are predominant producers of food, multicellular algae, euclina, 
unicellular eukaryotes, cyanobacteria, kind of prokaryotes, purple sulfur bacteria, this is a photosynthetic prokaryotes. How about heterotrophs? They are actually consumers, which depends on producers for food and oxygen, obtain energy by breaking down sugars and other nutrients produced by producers, contribute to the balance of ecosystem. Basically, they produce carbon dioxide, which is required by producers because producers mainly do photosynthesis. Example, animals and human. Move on to decomposer. They are heterotrophs. They obtain nutrients and energy by breaking down non-living organic materials such as waste, dead leaves, and branches in dead organism. This process will make the components of this material available for use. And those decomposer would be most bacteria, archaea, and fungi. If you have a look on the energy flow, you can see that the light energy is the main energy that will be captured by plants. And plants will carry out photosynthesis. When they do photosynthesis, so basically um, the light energy shall be converted into chemical energy, whereby it will be stored in the form of glucose and other nutrients. And at the same time, oxygen shall be produced as byproduct. This one will drive all human uh, lives or living organisms on this earth. And then the energy stored in glucose and other nutrients will be used in cellular respiration in plants and animals here yeah? using uh, with, the, uh, with the present of oxygen. During cellular respiration, um, carbon dioxide and water shall be produced apart from energy that will be formed in the form of ATP. This energy will drive synthesis of molecules and structures and also life activities that consist of homeostasis, growth and development, reproduction, movement of body, movement of materials across cells.